Now we want to go and check in on the new mayor for the city of Little Rock. Fox 16's Tyler Thomason standing by with Frank Scott Jr. Tyler. Kevin and Donna, good evening. Yeah, I'm here with Frank Scott Jr., the new mayor of Little Rock. Frank, can you put this moment into words? And first off, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Uh, the words are grateful, humbled, joyful to have the opportunity to leave my hometown. I'm so grateful and humbled. I want to say, a lot of your campaign, you've mentioned unifying the city, bringing everyone together. What do you want to say to the people who voted against you and voted for Baker Curris? What do you want to say to them tonight? First and foremost, I have to commend Mr. Curris and his entire team for running a great campaign, showing great amount of integrity and character, and I appreciate him for this race. What we showed in Little Rock is that we can have a civil and cordial race amongst one another. So I commend him and his team. And to anybody who did not vote for Frank Scott Jr., I'm asking, give me the opportunity to earn your vote. My mission stays the same since September 12, 2017. It's to unify this city, moving it from being disconnected to connected, focusing on jobs growth, securing our communities, and make sure we have every opportunity for our children to reach their true potential. And that's what I want to do. It's time to serve. I do want to ask you, you mentioned that being the third African-American mayor in Little Rock, it didn't mean much to you on this campaign. You're the first African-American mayor elected by popular vote. Hearing that and knowing that tonight, how do you feel? Again, I'm grateful to be the mayor of Little Rock right now. I'm not running to be the black mayor of Little Rock. I've ran to be the mayor of Little Rock, and I thank God that I am now the mayor of Little Rock. Mayor elect, and that's what it all matters. It's unifying this city, focusing on jobs, growth, securing our communities, and engaging our children. That's what it's about. After you're sworn in, what's your first priority? What's the first thing you want to get done, first thing you want to do? We have multiple priorities. We've been very clear about what we think it needs to happen to unify our city, to be intentional through our policies by sharing our vision on our platform. We're going to secure our communities. We're going to engage our youth. We're going to focus on jobs growth, and we're going to unify this city. I don't know if you know this or not, but City Manager Bruce Moore is in the building this evening. Have you spoken to him tonight? If so, what'd you say? All we did was greet one another. I did see him. We did greet one another, exchanged great uh, remarks. He got, told me congratulations. I told him thank you. And so we're going to work not only with Bruce Moore, we're going to work with every city director. We're going to work with every city employee. We're going to work with every constituent because, again, it's about unifying this city. Last thing, uh, anything else you want to say to the people of Little Rock that are watching this tonight, people that voted for you, people that didn't vote for you, anything else you want to say? I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Frank Scott Jr., congratulations, Thank new you. mayor of Little Rock. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. All right, so you heard from the new mayor of Little Rock right here at Cajun's Wharf. Uh, he's ready to get to work, and uh, he's grateful. And we'll be, uh, we'll be watching this campaign moving forward to see how things go from here on out. Live at Cajun's Wharf in Little Rock, Tyler Thomason, Fox 16 News. We'll send it back to you guys.